welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom, and we are going to be talking about the made-for-TV horror movie called Ominous. Now, this one is directed by Peter Sullivan and stars Barry Watson and Esme Bianco. Now, the story here is very similar to a kind of Omen-style film. We have a, a couple, basically, who lose their son in an accident, and they are offered the chance of this kind of mysterious stranger to bring their son back from the dead uh, with the condition that they must protect him over all costs. And of course, this isn't quite the deal they could have thought they were going to get, as this turns out to be the Antichrist. And obviously strange things start to happen as it slowly dawns on this family that, that maybe their son isn't quite what they thought. So very much like the, the Antichrist and, uh, and kind of other films that kind of have a similar theme to it, this one is a made-for-TV feel to it for definite. So... It definitely has that sort of that glossy uh, sort of toned down feel that you kind of get that you won't sort of see like gratuitous of violence. There is a fair bit of uh, of death in this film. On the other hand, though, we will talk about the positives and negatives. Uh, the, the actual positives here, I would say, is quite an engaging story. Okay, it's not an original story, but I have to say it, it's somewhat engaging and moves along at a, a fair brisk. And I think it's quite well cast, especially the young boy here who plays the kind of uh, the demonic child Jacob. When he wants to look cute, he can look cute, but he can also look quite sinister at times as well when it's called for him. So I quite like that. It also has quite a high body count. So if you you know if you're looking at a film with uh, lots of extras getting skewered and things like that, then this is maybe the film for you. And I have to say, I think it is. Despite its budget restrictions, as I'll come on to in a minute, it's somewhat inventive as well with some of the things that it does, and does have some uh, some interesting ideas in with it. On the negative side here, I have to say maybe the acting first of all isn't the best, uh, particular from the the mother played by uh, Esme Bianco. Uh, I didn't think was a particularly good actress. She is English compared to everyone else being American. So maybe it was maybe her accent was kind of just made her sort of stick out that a little much a bit more uh, to be honest. But I didn't think she was a fantastic actress. The main issue well, I have two issues with this this main issue to this movie. The first one here being the visual effects. The visual effects here are of a really poor standard. So they have a quite quite a lot of kind of CGI fire and kind of things like that, and it looks really bad. They, they are it's really cheap. And nasty looking effects here and that's what I mean by the, the of the budget here I mean there's not it's not necessarily an effects driven movie uh, but nonetheless when we do have these kind of these powers on display and things happening there's, there's just terrible sort of CGI in it and the other thing here is a story element that kind of bugs me and that is the uh, there's all these sort of strange things that are happening the, no one really questions it, very t to be honest, you know, you, especially the two parents and stuff. The father kind of starts to question it after a while, but I mean, they see so much, and they don't think, hmm, something's not quite right here. Maybe I should maybe think about doing this, maybe look it into it a little bit further. There is, um, you know, there's a little bit too much acceptance right from the get-go. Literally, this stranger comes out of nowhere and uh, brings their son back to life with crappy magical effects. And they just accept it, don't really talk about it, which I found was a little odd. And also the intro here was bizarre. Um, it's just a, not necessarily a criticism, but an odd choice. It start, what starts off with this kind of this action uh, orientated intro with some characters running away who have no idea who they are and don't bear into the plot at all. And uh, yeah, kind of like a bit of an action intro that um, I feel was uh, not the best. When we actually do see the demon, for some reason it's got CGI hair and it looks terrible. Again, this is going into the effects. But overall, it was you know it was an entertaining film. It did run at a fair pace. I kind of like this, like the kind of the, the pace of it and some of the kind of the ideas that it has, especially the crow scenes and kind of the the, the, the wanton destruction that sometimes this film has. But overall, it's pr it's a pretty forgettable film. I'm gonna give this one a bang on average, a five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.